that is how I earn a living. Today's video is just going to be a clothing haul. There isn't a huge amount here, I think there's probably around about like 20 items-ish. Um, everything has already been photographed and scheduled on eBay, so um, probably by the time you see this video, half of it might be live. So it does not have price tags on it anymore from the charity shop. I will try and remember what I paid for it, However, if I do forget, I will put it on screen, probably like down in the corner or something, because I've written down how much everything was. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. And the first item that I picked up was this sea salt raincoat. It's a belted raincoat. I think it is literally called, oh, you can't see the belt at the minute. Um, the original raincoat. There you go, it's got a little belt around the waist. Um, pretty sure that's what it's called. It's got a hood. Got a nice line into it. There you go. And it's a size 12. It's quite a nice, there you go, you can see the lining better if, rather than just showing you the hood. There's the lining, it's nice. Um, it's got really nice stitching as well. It's like a navy blue, and then it's got a nice white stitching, like a, um, a decorative stitching. I don't really know the right word for it, to be honest with you. And it is called, yeah, it's called Original Raincoat. Um, and that cost £10, I can remember that one. So I was umming and ahhing about picking it up. You can see the stitching on the belt there. I wasn't sure about picking this one up because of it being £10. And it, I can probably get about 35 to 40 for it. So um, I'll be happy enough to get that. I think I've listed it for 40 But as long as I get like 30 or above, I'll be happy. Oh, the next find was quite a good one. I'm not sure what I'm going to get for it, but I was happy to pick it up. This is Woolovers, 100% merino wool. It's a long purple cardigan. I'm not sure if the lighting is very good, so if it isn't, please I, like, do forgive me. Um, I'm still getting used to the lighting. It's got nice big pockets on the front, and it comes with a dress as well. They're both 100% merino wool in this really nice purple, like... It's not a plumper, but it's more like a grape, maybe? I don't really know. Um, actually, no, it tells me. I think it's aubergine. Yeah, it's aubergine purple. Uh, both brand new with tags. <laughs> and I paid £10 for the set. Both brand new with tags. Both 100% merino wool. Both in a size medium. So I'm really pleased with that. I wasn't sure whether to list it separate, like as separate pieces. The cardigan, I think, could go quite well. But the dress is just a sleeveless merino wool dress and I was like, mm, I'm not sure if that's going to sell well on its own or not. So I've listed them together. I paid £10 and I've gone for £80 or best offer. I don't know whether that's too much, not enough. I've looked up comps and I can't really find anything. So I'm just winging it. I'm hoping for the best. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But next up is this Nomads. Um, like pale blue velvet dress. It's so pretty, I love it. If this was like my color, I'd keep it. It's it's so cute. There is the label. It's really pretty. And it's got this little satin ribbon that you can tie in a bow. It's just really feminine and girly. I really like it. I'm not really a feminine girly girl, so it probably wouldn't actually suit me, but I really like it. I think it's really cute. Um, I paid £3.50 for this one, yes, I can't remember, it was £3.50, and I think I've got it listed for around £16.99, I think I've listed this for, maybe £19.99, I can't actually remember, to be honest with you, I can't remember, I listed them all together and I can't remember what listed for what. This is a white stuff, I usually steer clear of white stuff apart from knits, however, this was just quite pretty. I don't know, I thought it was quite nice. Um, my husband keeps picking up white stuff. I don't know why, but it's like a white stuff magnet. Whenever we go sourcing, he's started picking up um, women's clothing for me. He's, he's helping me with sourcing now. And 
for some reason white stuff is right at the forefront of his mind like all the time and he's like he, he picked up everything white stuff and everything phase eight and he's showing me all of it and i'm like no i don't want it um but this one actually i thought was quite nice it's only in a size eight but i just thought it was like really like springy like not like springy as in like you know a coil like bouncy <laughs> um but this season i thought it was cute i thought it was spring summer I don't know, I thought I'd give it a go. I, I kind of get stuck with these white stuff skirts, they don't really move, but I mean, it was five pound as well. I know it was five pound. I paid for it. I just thought it was quite sweet. And he keeps picking up these white stuff things and I keep looking at it going, no, no, no babe, put it back, no. And I feel a bit guilty because he's crying. And I looked at this and I thought, that's quite cute. Yeah, okay. I don't want him to feel like he's not doing a good job. So I said yes to this one. <laughs> Next up is this white company cashmere and wool short sleeve jumper. Uh, it's a bit bobbly. Um, he did. My husband has photographed all these. Um, he now is in charge of photographing not everything, um, but he's working with me part time now, and he's just started photographing clothing. Um, he did de bobble it, but I think he probably could have taken off a few more bobbles. So I'll probably go over it a little bit more, but. Um, it's a nice cashmere and wool. It's a little out of shape. Um, again, it was £5, but I, it feels lovely still. Like, it's not shrunk or anything. Um, it still feels really soft and nice, and it's just maybe a little bit bobbly. But I think I've only listed it for about 18 because of that. I think I've put it in the listing that it's slightly out of shape and slightly bobbled. Um, but I don't know, I just liked it. I just liked it. Next up is this Karen Millen skirt, and this was brand new with tags. Still got its tag in it. Um, I just thought it was flowery, and then when we got it home, and Chris was photographing it, he noticed that it's got like birds and all sorts on it. It's quite pretty. It's like a double layered underneath. It's got another layer. It's cute. It's cute for summer. Um, it's in a size 10. We paid £7.50 for it. And I wouldn't have paid that if it wasn't new. I probably would have paid about £5 for it. But because it was new, I was like, yeah, it's a bit unusual. I quite like it. So I think I have got it listed quite high at the minute. I think I've gone for 40 which I know is a lot. But it's brand new with its tags. And I say that out loud, £40 is a bit... Hmm, that's a bit high, isn't it? Maybe I'll bring that down to 35 to start with. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, next up is this Bowden purple velvet skirt. Oh, I love a velvet skirt. We picked one up, I think in my last clothing haul, is a navy blue version of this, or very similar. I don't think it's exactly the same. Um, this is a gorgeous, like, plum purple. I don't know whether the lighting's going to show it very nice. If you are a clothing seller, you know all about trying to photograph velvet, especially dark velvet. It's horrible. Um, it's in a size 10. And I can't remember how much this one cost. I think it was £3.50. If it's any different, I will put it on the screen. And I've listed it for, I think, £16.99. Oh, I love these. These, these ones are really cool. I think they're really cool. I, I nearly kept them, but I don't think I'll wear them. These are by Bowden, and these are the Soho Star Camo jeans. They're skinny. I just thought they were really cool, and I wanted to keep them, but I won't wear them. I know I won't wear them. I like the idea of them, but I won't wear them. So there's just no point. Somebody else is going to be able to pull these off a lot, a lot better than I am. I won't be confident enough in them. I'm not confident in a print trouser. I just can't do it. Uh, they're in a size 14 and these were four pounds, these ones. And I think I've listed them for 20, maybe 25, maybe 20, no, 25. I listed them for 25. Oh, this next one was my husband's find and he did not want to leave this one behind. He thought it was too cool. Um, to be fair, I would have paid the same amount for this, to be fair. Um, this is by Puma and it is a collaboration with swash london and it's this jumpsuit and it's like got skeleton dinosaurs all over it it's really cool it's brand new with its tags 
We did pay £10 for it, but it's because it was brand new in the tax. It's in a size medium. So we can't find any sold comps. It's got like a full mesh, like, I don't know if you can see that, but the, the back panel is full mesh. Um, but yeah, we can't find any sold comps, but there is some for sale. There's some for sale in the US for about 50 or 60, I think. Um, I think I've gone for 60. No, that some for sale in the US for 70. Um, yeah, because they're $100. Um, so it's about, works out about 70 or 75 pound. I think I've gone for 60. I think there might be one in, one for sale in the UK for about 60 or 65, but not this size. Um, I think I've gone for 60. It's really quite cool, to be fair. Like, that is a really unusual print. It is quite cool. Uh, yeah, you can see the mesh now. I've brought it close up. But it is really unusual. And we paid £10 for that, so fingers crossed that'll go in the summer. Next up is this just basic Coca-Cola Cherry Coke t-shirt. It actually photographed really nice. It looks really nice on the photographs. The colours really pop. It's got these different coloured lips all over it. It is official Coca-Cola branding. We paid £1.50 for it. And... I think I've got it listed for like £12 or something. Um, I think it's just quite cool. My husband found it and he thought it was kind of cool, especially with it being official Coca-Cola branded. The man just thought it was quite nice. And it, like I say, it looks really nice on the photographs. The colours look really cool. Oh, this is a vintage full circle leather skirt. When we got this home, we realised it probably wasn't in the best condition. Um, it's like brown leather and it's got like a like a raw cut off hem um but yeah we realized it the leather's a little bit worn um it's seen pair days but then to be fair some people quite like that some people like that look and it's got like oh the lighting's not showing it very well it's got like um stitching all down the sides it's a really mini skirt as well like i'm short but it's still really mini on me um but yeah it's it's a little bit worn. I think it's been in the washing machine a few times. Um, but it costs £3. I think maybe I've put it up for like 16 and just said that it's worn. Um, but some people are actually after that look. So, I don't know. It might help it. It might hinder it. We shall see. What have we got next? These are... Oh, these are 7 for All Mankind jeans. Uh, these are the Roxanne jeans. They are a skinny, skinny leg jean. Um, not super skinny, but they are skinny. They have this little embroidery on the side. They do have little, um, what are they called? Rhinestones on them. Uh, I think one or two are missing, but I have disclosed that in the listing. I think the Roxanne's go for okay money. I think I've got these listed for about 20 because of the couple of missing gems. Um, and these are in like a dark wash. They are size 31. I think it kind of fits around about a 12 to 14. Um, these I can't remember how much they cost. I've got no idea actually. I would have to put that on the screen. I, I can't remember how much these cost at all. Um, my husband picked these up so I didn't even look at the tag. But we did record it. So like record it. We didn't film it. When we picked them up I meant like we wrote it down. Next up is this Marks and Spencer skirt. We overpaid on this. Like I can remember looking back at the tag and thinking, oh, why did I pay that much? <laughs> this was £6.50, but it was brand new with tags. I just thought it was quite nice. It's quite smart. Um, yeah, I liked it. It's a size 10. It's got its tag. Like I say, it's brand new with its tag. Um, it's just a jersey though. It's not like, it wasn't special. I was just drawn to the black and white stripes. And I think I've got it listed for £16. This is a Paul Smith Black Label women's shirt. It's in like a size 44. I think it measures at around like a 14, maybe a 16. Um, I think I've got it listed at a 14. I can't remember the exact measurements of it now. Um, but it's got a pinstripe. Like a multi-coloured pinstripe. There you go, you can see it now. Um, and it's like a fitted. These, there's not many solds to be fair. There's quite a few listed at like 
the listed are all over the place like some are 20 pounds some are like 60 pounds but there's none listed in this exact colorway i've gone for 25 because i think people listing them at 60 pounds i think that's a little bit excessive i don't think you're gonna get that and i'd rather it sell than not and there's not that many sold so i'm not gonna list it for that high this is a jaeger jumper it's in like this teal color and then it's got a gray grey hem and it is 50% wool which is why I picked it up and it was only £3.50 um, and it's in a medium so yeah I don't really think of a huge amount of Jaeger but because it was 50% wool and I really like the colour of it so I picked that up I think I got it listed for about 16 or 17 this Joe Brown's dress so pretty I bought it because it was brand new with tags I probably would have picked it up even if it wasn't because of how pretty it is. It's like a little tea dress, probably really good for the summer. I think it's a size 12. Yeah, size 12, it buttons all the way down the front. Let me show you the print a little closer. Proper like classic little tea dress print. Um, it was £6.50, I'm not sure if I've already said that. <laughs> um, so I would have paid £6.50 even if it wasn't new, I think, purely because of how pretty it is. Like, I wouldn't usually pay £6.50 on a used Joe Brown's dress, but because it is so pretty, I probably would have done. I think I've got this listed for 30 maybe. I can't, I can't quite remember. This, I wasn't sure whether to pick up or not, because I've not sold this brand before. This is by J. Crew. I've never sold J. Crew before. You don't really find it in the UK very often at all. Um, I paid £5 for it. It's like a utility jacket and it's quite nice. I think if it doesn't sell, I will happily keep it. Um, it's in like this nice khaki green and it's got a drawstring waist and a ton of pockets. It buttons and zips. It's like a boyfriend utility. I, I really like it. I paid five pounds. I think I've got it listed for around 22. Um, comps were around anywhere between like 18 and 26, 27. They're all over the place, but it is really nice. It's perfect for spring or like summer night, or well, night time. It's really good, really good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's nice, I like it. This is really nice. Um, this is all overs, and this is a long sleeve. Oh, nearly. This is a long sleeve, long line cardigan. Uh, it's in like a beige color probably showing up cream but it's more beige and it's only got a couple of buttons but it's got like this section of buttons here um and then the rest of it is open it's really cute i just thought it was really unusual and it's silk and cotton and i can't remember how much we paid for this i will have to put it in the corner I can't remember. did i tell you how much i paid for the j crew i did didn't i five pounds yeah um, yeah, I can't remember how much you paid for this one. I will put it on the screen. I have it listed for, I think, £30. Yeah, I think I've got it listed for £29.99. I'm not sure whether I'll get that for it, but it's a perfect spring-summer cardigan because it's really lightweight and it's a really nice colour. Next up is this Ralph Lauren orange. I, I listed it as a top because it's not quite a jumper, but then it's a bit thicker than the top, but it's not quite a jumper. Um, it has mesh like mesh around the top and the sleeves. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it is. There you go. Mesh and all the sleeves are. It's all the way down the sleeves too, and then this front panel and back panel is solid. Um, it's in a size large, and this cost two pound fifty, which is why I picked it up. I don't pick up a huge amount of Ralph Lauren. But for £2.50, I thought it was a really nice bright colour. It is a little unusual with the sleeves. I think I've listed it for, oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> Maybe around about 17 Oh, I love this next piece. I absolutely love it. This is by Jaeger again. This is probably going to be a bit difficult to show. This is a wrap dress, but not a long one. It's quite a short wrap dress. And which you don't see a huge amount of short wrap dresses. And it's like this brick red like a cross between a brick red and like a rust color i am in love with this i think it's gorgeous it's a linen mix so it's going to be perfect for summer 
I'm absolutely in love with it. I kind of want to keep it. It is my size, so if it doesn't sell, I am going to keep it and I'm going to wear it for summer. Um, I picked this up for £6 and it's listed for 25 I think. And like I say, if it doesn't sell, I'm going to keep it. Next up, I was quite surprised at this. I thought this would sell really well. However, it does not and it teaches you to check comps. This is by the brand Ness, um, which is made in Scotland. Oh, I have a hair stuck to my lip gloss, hang on. Got it, got it, let's carry on. Um, I paid £6 for this dress, no, £6.50. And I'm probably gonna be lucky to get £15 for it. And yeah, I've sold Ness jackets and coats before for a really decent price. Yet yeah, this viscose dress is not really gonna fetch a huge amount. She's, it's really cute, it's proper like going next door um little pockets like it's got like little dandelions i think they look like little dandelions anyway i really like it i think it's cute but i think when you're looking for nests you're probably looking for better materials like your tweed and your wool and stuff like that but i was really excited to find it because you don't find it very often however check comps check comps oh i love this one this is a joe browns I picked this up not long ago actually, but not new. I picked up a pre-owned one not long ago in a size 10. So this was well easy to list because I just did a sell similar. This is a size 14 and it's brand new with tags. I paid £12 for this, which for Joe Browns is a lot. However, because I knew I had one at home and I knew I could list this really easy as sell similar, I picked it up and it's brand new with tags and I think it is stunning. I am in love with this dress. This is my size, yet I don't think orange is my colour. Like, I, I'm not tanned enough. I think to wear this, having a beautiful suntan, or just having really nice dark skin tone, like, oh, I, have, I think this look gorgeous with darker skin. It's beautiful. Like, imagine that on holiday in the sunshine. It's stunning. Let me show you a bit closer so you can see the pattern. I mean, Maybe it would look nice with pale skin as well, but I just think it'd look so much better on darker skin. I think it's gorgeous. It's stunning. I think that contrast with darker skin would be absolutely gorgeous. Just look at her. She's beautiful and I want to keep her. And if she doesn't sell, well, I might just have to try her on and just see. Uh, but she is... Uh, why am I talking about it? Like it's alive. Like it's she. She's beautiful. It's a dress, Chloe, get grip. Um, that's how much I love it. Uh, yeah, I said it was £12. I've listed this one for 40 I think. I know £40 for a Joe Browns, but look how gorgeous it is. And I do our best offer on everything. Our best offer on everything, and I usually run a 10% off coupon as well. Uh, next up is another Ralph Lauren, and this was £2.50 as well, which is what... No, this was £1.50, which is why I picked it up. Um... I think we've only listed it for like about 12 to 15. This is in a size extra large and it's just a black and white shirt. There's not really much to say about it. A black and white polka dot shirt. It was really easy to list. And we thought we'd give it a go. But I don't really pick up a lot of Ralph Lauren. I don't sell a lot of Ralph Lauren because I don't pick it up. So we thought we'd give it a go. And then nearly finished. Next up is this Bowden. Again, was £1.50. So... I wasn't going to leave it behind. This is in a size 10. It's just a classic fit shirt, white and blue polka dot. I think I've got it listed for about 13 14 maybe 14 99 But for 150 I wasn't going to leave it behind. And then finally, this one I think was £2.50. Is this Hobbs white sleeveless shirt. Really good for work, like around summertime. I'm trying to pick up more spring summer pieces because my shop is so full of like knits and coats at the minute so i'm trying really hard to try and pick up spring summer stock this is really pretty it's got like a ruffle around the front it's just a really nice formal work piece two pound fifty and i think i've got it listed for about 14 pounds so i will be happy for that to get fetch that much money so yeah that is everything that i picked up on my last sourcing trip, well, not everything, it's all the clothing that I picked up on my last sourcing trip. Um, I think the video that I posted before this one would have been a non-clothing haul. Um, I split them up because I know that some people are not interested in 
seeing the clothing and i know that some people are only interested in seeing the clothing um if you do like it that way let me know if you don't and you prefer them mixed again let me know i find the feedback really helpful if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up what is that now i'm probably not going to get a thumbs up and i deserve it give it a thumbs down if you want i probably deserve it um, and yeah i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day bye everybody